Thank you. 
Hello Cyberspace, I am Binary and I play video games and today we are playing Captain Toad Treasure Tracker. Uh, it also looks like it's going to be a quiet day today. Uh, this game, I'm playing the Switch version of course. Uh, I do have a Wii U. Oh my, I... is there a recenter button? No, that... 
Why is there a pan camera left and right button? That's... Okay, not that. Oh, I, I hit the... Sorry. What? What? Okay, I think... Okay, so that, that is the recenter button. It's still really weird feeling. <laughs> oh yeah, this is Captain Toad Treasure Tracker. This was originally released on the Wii U. I never got it on the Wii U, but, um... Okay, turns on your light. Um, but this game has always looked fun. Um, this is not technically blind, because I did watch Miss Ayanella play through this game. And, uh, yeah, this game's pretty great. It's, um, based on Captain Toad's minigames from Mario 3D World, which is also on the backlog of games I need to stream. Uh, that's just a mite too long. I need a game that's, like, approximately exactly this long. Uh, approximately exactly. Good, good job there, Binary. I, I need to get working on that bot so I could quote stuff like that. Uh, but, uh, yeah, let's get started. Uh, when you boot up the game, it opens to this first level. There is no title screen yet, although I think there is one after this. So, uh, we just gotta follow our little, li little Toadette. And we got the star! So, Captain Toad is a little bit like Mario. You gotta guide him to the end of the level and get the stir. But, uh, crucial gimmick that separates Captain Toad from Mario is that Captain Toad cannot jump. He is too fat. Too fat to jump. So, we have to do things like lift platforms up and down. And, uh, you'll, you'll see. It's quite, it's quite a fun time. Yeah, um, I got this game, like, a few months ago, so I have played the first few levels on my own. Uh, though I have not seen the end of the game recently. It is also two-player, uh, I, that is how I played the game. I, uh, played the game with my sister. Ah, here we go, VR. No, no, no thanks. I'm, I'm good. Yeah, I, 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 I was just explaining that. There's... Wait, was the, were those extra levels DLC? Because I know they added extra levels for um, Mario Odyssey. I didn't. I thought those were just uh, stuff that came with the game, though. Anyway, we will be doing good all. It is indeed time for adventure. So, uh, this is the main game. It the the turnips return from um, Mario Brothers Two, which is really funny because that was that's not a Mario game. So it's it's really amusing that like so many things from that game ended up coming back later. Um, uh, uh, throw the pow block and miss entirely because my aim is terrible. There we go. Uh, there is a golden mushroom over there. And I'm suspecting that one of our gems is up there, if I can get up there. Um... You do have lives in this game, so collecting coins is sort of important. And this pickaxe lets us break things. Um, each mission does have, like, a, a little secret objective. However... I'm not gonna worry too much about those because oh. I'm not wor too worried about those because some of them will require that I just replay the same levels that I've played already. So I'm not really interested in doing that. Mushroom. 
Okay, you give us the third gem. I won't be getting all the gems, though. I will just not be doing the bonus conditions or the, um, I think there's, like, a little I Spy minigame you can play with Pixel Toad as well. I think is how that works. Yeah, hide and seek with Pixel Toad, which I will not be doing at all. We'll just be playing the levels once. <clears throat> level two. Level two introduces these little wall guys. Oh yeah, and the bridge that falls. <laughs> I forgot about that. Alright, so you gotta throw it at him and then run by. I, I like how they feel the need to remind me that, hey, right stick is a... Right stick, the common game uh, mechanic, is a game mechanic. Uh, Captain Toad does have two hits, much like Mario himself. Uh, that's what these mushrooms are for. Um, we also have this little cursor. The cursor is supposed to be like the gamepad. I don't think there's anything down there. Yeah, we have this little bit... Oh, no, no. Um, we have to... You can walk off that, really? Go, 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 go. Um, so in the original game, you could do stuff like, um... How do you interact? Yeah, you can, like, stun enemies. Which I will do if I remember, but... Oops. Probably won't be doing too often. Get in, the, get in the door! How the hell? I thought that, that little railing lip would stop me from walking off, but I guess not. Oh, you can stop these from moving if you want. Interesting. Where the... Oh, I didn't leave yet. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Don't worry, guys. I'm a pro gamer. Very smart. level has three gems, a secret condition, a pixel toad hunt, um, and a star. The star is, of course, mandatory. The everything else is not. But yeah, this game really recently released in the Wii U, so it has it had touchscreen gimmicks. Though I feel like the gimmicks, um, re-implementation as a gyro gimmick makes it a little bit more easy to use. Here's a quick tip. Touch. You can also aim with the pointer. Yeah. No, I was just explaining that. Ah, these levels. These are an example, I believe, of levels that you have to play multiple times if you want to get everything. Because, if I'm not mistaken, you have to do this in the minimum amount of moves as one of the things. Which, if you're just starting, you probably have no idea what these things do. So you're probably going to just be experimenting with stuff anyway. But furthermore... Uh, uh, but furthermore... I think if you do things in the minimum amount of moves, you can't get all the gems. I'm not like 100% positive on that. Hey, Kairu. We're doing the cat and toad thing. I'm just explaining game mechanics. Uh, where is that key supposed to be? 
There's a key somewhere. There must be. Uh... Oh, maybe it's uh, in the grass. Hey, it was in the grass. Look at me. I'm a smart cookie. No, don't throw that key. Shush. All right, key go indoor, gem collect. Yeah, as far as uh, completion is gonna go, I'm just gonna get the gems in each level. Ah! <laughs> well, it's a good thing I got the gems already. Okay, so this goes up and down, this goes left and right. Uh... Oh, I get it. I have to... Get in here, I think? Oh, no, I can just get on here. And then do that, and then that. Man, I am very good at... <laughs> Accidentally <laughs> timing. Man, I just accidentally hit the, the trigger button and it happened to be pointing at the exact thing that I needed to be pointed at to knock me off a cliff. I don't remember. I may have completed this entire world on my own. I know I played this game with a, a lot with my sister when it first uh, when I first got it. Ah, uh, these bird enemies are annoying if I remember. Oh yeah, they just do a stomp. What? There we go. Uh, is this something we can tap? It is something we can tap. However, I'd like to go grab these coins. Grab this mushroom for more coins. Um, oh, that's a fire. <laughs> something went... Oh no! Uh... That just, it did just break, which is very fitting, considering what I think that's a clip of. Ooh, that's... I, I tried pushing the trigger to throw. As you might imagine, since trigger is not the throw button, it didn't work. Oh, you have to kill some enemies to get the gem. Well, since I think this is also a turn up, let's get rid of you while I'm at it. Death to all life! It is I, Cat and Toad, destroyer of worlds, wrecker of your crap. Um. I see, said the blind man. If I recall, yeah, there's something back there. Um, which you... How do you get to that? Oh, there's a hidden little... Okay, hang on. I think what I want to do is pop down here so I can get in here. And then... Loading.jpg. Ah, no, 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 I have to get on top of you, and then get inside you to go down. Oh, wow. That is a shame, because this is a pretty cool game, for remember. I, I watched a full play, uh, Massey's full playthrough of it, so I'm not like... Should I kill the bird? Let's kill the bird. I don't know Oh, it's Splatoon! It's Splatoon! That's why I'm pulling the triggers. <laughs> it's because I just came off of Splatoon. Okay. I was like, why am I pulling the trigger to throw? It's 
because we just came off of Splatoon. Okay, I'm not crazy. He said to him, talking to himself over the internet. <laughs> Pyropuff Peak. Double Cherry Palace. Ooh, Double Cherry. Double Cherry was one of the cool gimmicks. Uh, for those that didn't play Super Mario World, and it was a Wii U game, so... Um, that could be a fair amount of people on the internet, but also I get, like, very few viewers. Yeah! I prefer not to buy used either. Even though, I think, generally, it's not that big a deal. Oh, God. There is a game that... No, no! It's one of you bastards. It's like the rabbit from, uh... Mario 64. I'm gonna throw all these turnips in, and I'm gonna find out a reason that I want to keep these turnips, aren't I? Uh, oh, there's a button there. Okay. This level is, by the way, really easy in co-op, because, of course, in co-op, there is only... Um... There's a limited number of you. Yes. I agree. Most of the time, it's fine. But, like, every once in a while, you get one of those copies that don't work. And, uh, that never feels great. This is kind of neat. Hey, wait a minute. That few buttons. Oh my. This level is a lot bigger than it looks originally. They're together again! Aw oh man! Well, we're replaying this level by the looks of it. Because I think that was one of the gems in that uh, mole up there. Where's the other gem then? We got none of the gems. Hold on. Yeah, this level is understandably way easier in multiplayer because there's always two of you in multiplayer. And this game's like, okay, but what if gimmick of two people? Quick tip, you can zoom in or out. Yeah, I noticed that while I was trying to figure out the controls. Uh, that is an excellent question. <laughs> Speaking of excellent questions, where is the other gem? Because the thing about them is that both copies are the original. If one copy dies, the other copy survives. So you can squint your eyes to see tiny details. Yeah, the games reminded me a couple times that I could rotate the camera with the right stick. Which, like, yeah, it's a video game. <laughs> But then again, this is the Mario games, and, and uh, Mario games have been had uh, odd camera controls, <laughs> so maybe I shouldn't be too surprised. Well, I'm gonna do things, or things, as the case may be in a certain octopus space level area thing. Oh, 
All right. Let's uh be a little more attentive this time. <laughs> and notice, for example, that there is a hallway back here. All right, that's all three gems. Really easy, I just was really dumb last time. And like hyper-focused on... on that one particular thing. Whoop. Freedom, again. I wonder what coins it, uh, what other coins I could have gotten. Oh, well, I guess now I have 70 coins. <laughs> have I completed every level? Yeah, no, this one is clear to a course of three touches, which you cannot do if you want to collect all the gems. Didn't destroy the temple bridge. If I had remembered... <laughs> uh... Well, there can only be one main character, so we had to murder him off-screen. Uh, you understand. We couldn't have him thinking he was the original. I think this is, might be one of those stealth levels that, like, the game's been like... Oh, uh, the hidden objective is don't get caught. And for these levels, you might want to turn off your lamp if you intend to go for that objective. Well, I guess that shy guy is just not dying. Because <laughs> I aim bad. Otherwise, you'd get Metal Sonic. Yes. Oh, man, speaking of Metal Sonic, I'm surprised they still haven't introduced Metal Sonic into the, uh, the Sonic movie universe. But, like, chronologically, Knuckles did come first, so I understand it. But, like, Metal Sonic would be, like, an easy movie rival. And it, and it's something that, like, movies love to do. Oh, come on. <laughs> well, if the... Ow! Oh, God! How does this work? Press the air while rotating the stick. Ah. Oh, <laughs> Oops, I accidentally killed a shy guy. My B. Okay, we do see one gem up ahead. And we got a mushroom. My mistake was not... <laughs> it was completely erased. Man, since I've been caught already, I might as well just toss this. Stealth- yeah! Essentially! Um... Oh, there's Blue Toad in- in this- Ah, I need to get a pickaxe. <laughs> Speaking of accidental kills. Where is that pickaxe? Maybe it's up on this house. But yeah, it looks like we definitely need a pickaxe. Oh god, the one that I threw at was not the one that I wanted to throw at! It's a good thing I'm apparently faster than them. What? Okay, new plan. Because shy guys are idiots. Uh, I could do that, but where's the fun in that? Where is the pickaxe? Where is that pickaxe?
Oh, there's grass over here. Okay, I completely missed that because the camera hit it. Uh, the, the pickaxe reminds me a lot of the, uh, Don Mario vs. Donkey Kong Hammer, slash DK90... Was it, was it 97? The, 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 the Game Boy Color, or the, the, not the Game Boy Color, the original Game Boy Donkey Kong game. The hand just holds on the end, like, shh. Yeah, no, I, uh, I mentioned that in level two. I don't like doing that, though, because it's, um... It's gyro controlled, which yeah, it, it is the same song. Slept past all the shy guys. I think I got caught by almost every single one. Spin wheel library. Like, like I, I like the exact opposite of what I was supposed to do. Ooh, one of the spooky levels. Speaking of spooky. Uh, is it always Blue Toad gives you that thing? Oh, there's a gold mushroom. Yep, Blue Toad always gives you This is the last one? Really? Also, looks to me like the game wants us to get a lot of coins for the hidden objective. Given that it's putting so many of them. So I think the way this works. Oh. I see. I guess how we can get up right again. All you see, there's this pipe. Alright, and is this coin? Area, there are more coins. Um, I feel like the first gem is maybe on the staircase somewhere. Bingo! That was probably the initial state of the staircase. You okay, know, I did actually have to spin it around all the way. But yeah, this game is very short. Um, how long to beat has it at? Six hours? Uh, Kyra, I don't suppose you'd know what the DLC for this game is. Is that just the, um, the Mario Odyssey stuff? And I did collect the gold mushroom. It was just sort of right there. Ah, good old bonus levels. We're gonna play one of these whenever they come out. They, uh, basically, you get lots of coins. And we have two mini games. We have the pickaxe mini game. Ooh, mushroom. The pickaxe mini game and the cherry mini game. And we're going to play the pickaxe mini game first. I know they added stuff, but the thing is, is that there's like a DL there's like a store page for DLC, which I, I thought the Odyssey stuff was just in the game. That's... Okay, they are just supposed to get... That's what I thought. Well, maybe I'll look up what the heck the DLC is supposed to be at some point. Minecart tunnel. Ah, this is the first minecart level. Prepare to see me retry this a bunch. Because it's an on-rails section! In the original game, I believe this portion would be on the bottom screen. Um, and then on the top screen, or on the, on the regular screen, the, the gamepad. And then on the regular screen, you could, uh, just see, uh, regular Captain Toad running a minecart. I feel like I've missed one already. I have missed one already. I think it was at the beginning. Okay, well, we got those two, so now I just need to find the other one. Zoom! 
Yeah, these, these levels, while I think I will probably have to replay every one, these are quite fun. It's a special episode with five added courses and 13 stages. I see. Ow, I said as I flicked my wrist into my table. Probably audibly, given my uh, my audio setup. Defeat all the parry para bitty buds. Well, I will certainly try that if I get the opportunity, since we're doing this again. Let me guess, the first gem was a read. Yep. <laughs> yep. I, uh... I remember that one from uh, when my sister and I played. I'm surprised, given how much coins there are in this, that it's not coin-related. Oh, for a basic... Yeah, no, I just flicked my wrist, and it, uh... Ended up hitting my, uh, the, the table. <laughs> I flipped my wrist too close to the table. Is there, like, another hidden secret pair of Bitty Buddy? Or we did this already? Also, those Bitty Buddies are, like, an interesting enemy. Because I think in the first game they were at, I don't know if they still have this gimmick. But I think they were supposed to have a gimmick or something where if you killed all of, like, all of them of, like, the like a full set of colors, you'd get a uh, one-up. Speaking of one-ups. <laughs> all right. Spin wheel, bullet bull base, and also the, uh, the king of Pyropock Peak. Yeah. Okay, there's usually enough for them to score one up. Okay, that's their gimmick then. Understood. I've been playing too much Splatoon lately. These rotate these. I think if you play two player, you can kind of cheat this some a little bit. Because you're not supposed to be able to move while turning these, and if you play with with multiple people, you absolutely can. Captain Toad and DLC in Splatoon win. Well, I mean, that's ob obviously Toad is a no. Okay, there we go. Much better. breaks those two crates, which will let us pass. Um, Cat Toad is the new the new playable race in Splatoon 3, obviously. Like, they added one in, uh, there's been one additional race in each Splatoon game so far, and, um, very obviously, Cat and Toad, he's the new one. Um, or not Cat and Toad specifically, but, you know, the Toads. I'm actually, I would be sick if Sheldon, I think I would be sick if Sheldon's race ended up being playable at some point. Wait, how do I get up? How do I get up there? Now that might have something to do with the end of the level. Wow, these guys are really dumb. Well, I'm gonna drop down here. Oh, no, no, no!
think the direction we want this to be in is, like, this. The supplies are raking in the moolah with premium. Premium, I'm sorry, what are we t Oh, right, the Sheldon race. Yeah, no, no, because I love, um... Sheldon is, I think, a horseshoe crab? Which is not an isopod. My favorite, my favorite bug is, of course, the isopod. Oh my! But yeah, like uh, horseshoe crabs are pretty cute, and I I, I quite like them. <laughs> They're very neat. And of course, and if you squid, you could be like a little old horseshoe crab. Apparently, been sent some <laughs> notifications. Collect the gold mushroom. There's a gold mushroom in that level. Okay. Uh, this is, I think, our first boss level. Oh yeah. So, oh my goodness, I'm going to take off my smartwatch for this, because I keep being sent notifications. So, the gimmick with this fight, I think that I, this fight might be auto-scrolling. I don't think that it is, though. But of course, we got Mr. Dragon here to contend with, and he does do the thing. Oh, you... I do think the lava does steadily rise as the level increases, but I don't think it's on a timer specifically. I think... That was a mistake! But it worked out. Uh, yeah. The, uh, we did very recently with the various suit. That was part of last week's episode. The last episode of Cat and Toad. Yeah, the, the lava does does rise, but it doesn't like rise automatically. It rises as you progress, which is how I remembered it working. Unfortunately, we do not have the gravity suit yet, so we can still be damaged by fire. This, this looks suspicious. It is just a mushroom. Go, 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 go! You know what? They kind of do. Go, 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 go! go. Oh, we, have, we do have all gems. Oh. Oh. This is a infinite pull block. Go, 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 go! Get that stir! And this poor dragon. He's spitting dangerously wholesome facts. I mean, to be honest, this dragon was just defending his home. And we have the audacity to just knock a giant star killer onto him. I think this might be one of the only boss fights in the game.
I, uh, I apparently completed that level. The hunt for the great bird's lair. Go, go, go! Uh, when you bought this game used, Kyra, did you... Uh, which version did you get? The, uh, the Wii U version or the Switch version? Right, you did mention VR. <laughs> Oop. Uh, can I... There we go. <laughs> there we go, Piranha Creeper Cove. I love how you kill the, uh, the Piranha Creepers, it's pretty great. Oh, there's a gem there. Gotta go collect that gem! Uh, is there anything else over here? It looks like there is. Ah, it's over here. Let's do some coins. But yeah, I think I like Cat and Toad more than, uh... You know what? This level looks like it's ridiculously fast if you just want to clear the level. Like, it's right there. You just gotta climb that boat. But, if we want a gym, we gotta do things the hard way. Or the ridiculously easy way, because I think I can just freeze this guy if I want to. Oh god! Oh, I get it. I have to... Uh, when you tap these guys, they don't get stunned, they just go back to their starting position. Alright! Someone asked the last two minutes about ten seconds ago. Look, we gotta, we gotta use that nostalgia. Whoop! <laughs> Whoops! I missed, again. I feel like this will be a common trend. You know, I didn't even consider that we were missing a gem. <laughs> Let's go find it. Oh, it's up there. Okay. Um, how do I get there, though? So, yeah, because you have, like, no air control if you fall off a cliff. worth it. Yeah. What exactly do I do here? Huh. How do I get up to you? Uh, 
Oh, there, there is a ramp up there, though. Maybe there's something up there? <laughs> Ride? Oh, I must not have noticed that last time. <laughs> I think I was too focused on the star to have noticed that before. Or, I think I was too no- I- Look, I'm not the best at noticing things all the time, okay? <laughs> Oh man, bonus level. This time we're gonna do the cherry one. Uh, yes, it is, I think, the same two minigames most of the time. I think each chapter has its own minigames, though. Oop. I think these are two ten free coins every time, because... Oh, 256, that's a power of two. See, I'm gonna get it. And then the bridge fell down anyway by accident. And it's like, oh, okay, it didn't matter. You know, my brain did not autocorrect it to bridge. <laughs> I was looking at it going like, what? I, w I was very confused. <laughs> I think this level has, like, a hidden, um, gold mushroom somewhere. But, like, I don't feel like looking for it. Alright, let's head up through the pipe. Oh, now I can get that gem. Uh, this gem here could be a problem. But I think if I pull up on this, it's supposed to... <laughs> I, I don't... Oh, there's a spot there. Okay. This is probably the second one, then. That is an interesting light effect. Alright, I'll drop down here, where we'll probably find the gem underneath. I'm seeing double. Oh! This is the end of the level. I see. Oh, yeah, right? Oh, it was just in the grass. Okay. Sure. It's also not underwater. I'm noticing the star. But yeah, Captain Toad is probably the best part of, honestly, Super Mario 3D World. Not that... Yeah, there is a hidden gold mushroom here. Turnip Cannon Jungle? I don't remember this one. Yeah, I'm, a, I'm afraid... Oh, well, there's a purple pipe that leads us under... Upside... into, Leads us to the Upside Down. I legitimately thought I was gonna land on him, and then so when I mistimed it, I free I got you.
There's a weird amount of coins in this. Yeah, right? Like an airlock? Airlocks are really cool. I love airlocks in games. But that's always been, like, one of my favorite parts of building an underwater base in Starbound, is that you get to, like, make an airlock. Alright, I believe this is the aforementioned turnip cannon. Yep. Infinite power! <laughs> Alright. I must be missing something obvious, because we've missed the first one. I suppose it could be in one of these... Oh, it might be in that leaf. That leaf seems pretty... Yeah, they're called airlock. Oh, it's not just water and, um... Air. It's air and something that is distinctly not air. It, it, like, you, it'd be called an airlock on a space station as well. But yeah, the point of them is to lock the air in so it, um, it drains all water or, you know, black or inserts air, and then inserts air as necessary. They're really neat. Onward, Cat and Toad! Pop up Prairie Town. Oh man, we're going to Shy Guy Town. Hell yeah. The town of Shy Guys. What does this do for me? I get the first gem. Oh, and there's a lot. I was, I was exactly Jen, just thinking, how on earth am I gonna get up? I think this is another Shy Guy stealth level. Nice! Sniped! <laughs> Are you gonna pull that trick again? Uh, doesn't look like it. Instead, that looks like it's gonna lead into the required area. Okay, I think I see all three gems, so we know where they are. We just have to figure out how to get them. Wait a minute, if you don't have a gem, what do you have? Oh, you got a 1-up this time. It is true, they are not called smart guys. Oh, and now that door exists. Okay. Curse you, Captain Toad, and your landing thud. Oh, I bet that ladder um, it becomes more relevant when we raise something, raise or lower something up. Question is, which thing do we want to raise? Not that, but the looks of things. Ah! Yeah, okay, there's a staircase there. Thank God he didn't follow me. Ultra hot pocket. You know, like the hot pocket meme. You're all. Okay, and then from here I can uh, also get. So I did have to raise both of them because this one leads to the other gem. Alright, let's pull up this last platform. Oh! And that! Okay. I love that I can just get on the ladder and they'll walk right into my butt. 
It's so convenient for, for the lazy new Mushroom Kingdom heroes. <laughs> This, this is why regular Mario games don't have ladders. It's so that they... Oh, I... Well, howdy! We done did it. Now we have an option of two levels, but of course we're gonna... Oh, no! I think I hate it. I think I hate it. That is not what I said, but it's probably a little bit safer than work than what I said. Hiding the uh, this is the mushroom, right? Yeah. <laughs> oh, and I probably had to throw a turnip at this one. No, I've been tricked. Not being able to drum, <laughs> to drum, <laughs> to jump, <laughs> is uh, yo Jackie, we are playing Cat and Toad, the Mario game, where Mario is Toad and also can't jump, because he's not Jumpman, of course. Oh, but this time around we did technically collect all the gems, so you know what, I'm just gonna rush to the end of the level. I am glad that it doesn't do the normal Mario thing, where it's like, no, no, you didn't collect the gem this one, so you don't get all the gems. Oh my god, really? What, uh, like, the... Uh -oh. I don't know why I went for it, but I did. That, is it like a... Like, does it suck today, or is it, like, a recent thing? Oh god, this is a tight squeeze, but I made it! Oh my god, I... Wait, oh, you were here earlier? Wow, really? Wow! Didn't defeat any of the- No! My hubris! So from before the stream started. Wow, okay. Okay, plus three centers. No! Give me a turn up! Give me a turn up! So I think this level's gimmicks is, yeah. The doors, um, they move. Oh, yeah, sorry, I guess. Oh, da, 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 da. Okay. So that door goes there. That's a fence. This door probably goes up to where the gem is. And then I go through here. And I'm not 100% sure how I'm going to get all these, uh... Oh, right, you can kill booze in this game, can't you? Oh, 
I was expecting that to, to, to get the Goomba sack, and then I didn't. Um, boo, boo, boo. Oh, I see. <laughs> I was supposed to do this. And that needs me to that door, which probably... Oh, hey, it's a gold mushroom. Can I get both of them at once? I can! Captain Toad, it's, it's, it's actually funny. Captain Toad is an easy time dealing with booze, but like normal Mario enemies. Oh, wow, really? So were you on data before? Here's a quick tip. You can touch the touch screen. Touch the edge of the page and flip direct. What? <laughs> I did not understand a word of that. Blizzard on the Star Express. You're on data now. I guess something must be wrong with your Wi-Fi. But it, it you still you can still watch stream though, which makes makes that really weird. There's a first gem. I'm guessing this is probably a don't kill any of the bitty buddies level. Yeah, this, I think this might be a stealth level, actually. Or if you want the, the bonus condition, you can't be caught by a shy guy. This is the it, it You know what? It is! The Winter Star Express. It's the Polar Express. Uh, I think, if I remember... Yeah, because this is the level that has... Um, you, how do you get to you, though? Oh, it's through there. Okay, that makes sense. We've only got one gem, but I suspect that we'll get one from here as well. And instead, uh, you gave me a mushroom. You're useless to me, Blue Toad! Useless! And pathetic. Wait, can I climb onto the bed? How does this help me? Oh, never mind. There was a staircase here the whole time. Wait, does Captain Toad immediately fall asleep when he's on a bed? That's amazing. Oh my goodness. Can you turn like that? Can you turn like this? So I can ride you. Also, um... On the number of games I've played before, uh, Inscription did just release Casey's mod recently. The, uh, the, which is effectively Inscription but Endless Mode. How am I gonna get over there? Yeah, right? That is a superpower. I want that power. How do I get on top of these? I feel like that's where the gem is, probably.
Oh, wait, I think I see it. Which is exactly why I fell down right then. Alright. Yeah, I, okay, I can just walk here. <laughs> Nothing there of importance. I'm wondering how to break these bricks, because that seems useful. These are just bitty buddies. Murder! on the Star Express. Speaking of stars, we now have their star, and this is no longer a Star Express. It is now just the Express. <laughs> we have stolen its name. All right, this is the final level of this chapter. Isn't it? Burp time! <laughs> I'm sorry, Jackie. There's a one-up mushroom? Where? Okay, but first... Because I like collecting coins. This is not at all useful, because I'm probably never going to die, but like... same time, it feels really good to collect a bunch of coins in Mario. It's the same reason why in, like, a, uh, a Link Between Worlds, I will collect every rupee. I don't care if I don't need rupees. I just like collecting rupees. It just affects the tag. Yeah, that's weird. Is, like, anything else on your Wi-Fi being slow today? So I remember this bird being annoying. Alright, wind! Does he have a super feather? I did not know that. Ooh, coins. Maybe it's just Twitch having a stroke. Kamek bird! So I will tear myself. Shelter. Oh no, wait, I locked myself. You know what? It's faster than replaying the level. Now, if we were... No! Bird! I, progress is this way! <laughs> I didn't have my eye on the birdie. Can I, I can. 
Hell yeah! Okay, and then for this treasure... No! <laughs> Admittedly, that was... I should have thought of that. <laughs> Find the tower fast! Uh -oh. oh wait, right, I'm behind cover so this doesn't matter. I just need to wait for you to do the honors, Sir Bird. Why I think he does this in a pattern, so I'm gonna have to wait for an entire other cycle. leave this time like a smart cookie. Run, 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 run! Alright, now for the actual... boss fight, I think. Yeah, I saw coins, it's like, oh no wait, there's no boss fight, it's just, it's just the end of the level. Oh god! <laughs> Too greedy. Yo, turn up beam! Ow. Oh, that's not great. Oh, he broke the turn up. Oh, thank God. Oh god, he puts it in random spots! I thought he put it where I was standing! <laughs> Won't cooperate with Twitch today, apparently. Okay, so this is, he does break every turn, but this phase specifically. Interesting. Are you sure I can't lift rocks? Also, the mysterious power of turnip only lets you throw turnips. Oh god, healthy food! I'm fat now, because that's how healthy food works, of course. Alright, time to yank up Cat and Toadette. That's, that particular soundtrack sounds very Mario Galaxy to me. 
Or, no, it sounds very Mario 3D World, which makes sense, because this is a sequel, to, effectively, to a minigame from that game. Buddy? Alright, we did it, folks. That's Captain Toad, Treasure Tracker. Game over. Looks like I'll have, some, I'll have to find something else to play on, uh, on Wednesday. And next Saturday, because, of course, I, uh, will not be getting uh, my copy of Kirby on Friday, because I never do get my copy on the day of. I always get my copy, like, the next week after, because games always release on Friday, which I wish game more games were released on, like, Wednesday. Give people something to look for. I, I know why. It's because, like, weekend. But, like, come on. This is surprisingly fast. Like, don't worry, there's a reason for that. Man, I this this just makes me remind me remind, makes me think of uh, Kid Icarus Uprising, which is by far my best uh, one of my favorite 3DS games with very awkward controls. I do not like how Kid Icarus Uprising controls. I have never liked it. I've always felt it awkward to control. But it's a fun game, and I hope that it gets a sequel someday. The end. Or is it? But yeah, Kid Icarus Uprising is one of my favorite fakeouts. Where you, like, beat the game. It has two fakeouts, that game, actually, now that I think about it. Best coin run zero. <laughs> Oops. Episode two is now open. Yeah, so this game is divided into three episodes. I don't know if they're going to try to make us fake out again. Alright. I don't actually know if Chapter 2 is, like, supposed to be what happens. Because this is the, the, the first level of the game. Again. Yeah, and the extra Odyssey content. Plus the DLC. Which I will not be covering. Plot twist, it's now Captain Toadette! <laughs> Captain gets toadnapped! Oh no! So yeah, we now have to play through half the game, uh, th another third of the game as Captain Toadette. Who is exactly like Cat and Toad, but, uh, not. Ah, ah, ah! There's a charge and chuck there. Oh, I better... Move it down here, so I, I'll have to avoid the charge and chuck. But so this tells me this level is probably about collecting coins because there's a lot of coins here. Bye, Charge and Chuck. Sounds different. Yeah, I guess. Um, is there anything gained by going? Okay, there is a gem this way, so this is the proper way to go. I just need to make it safe! No! Oh no, I missed gem.
Well, I ow, see the last gem. Well, <laughs> or like charging foot. Um, oh, there is a ladder here. I feel like the section with charge and shock is important. I'm gonna go try to figure that out. Maybe they want us, him to charge the tree? And then, like it'll drop something? Nope. He's just here for no reason. Understood. Here's the other gem. Yeah, because they usually make it possible to collect every gem in one run. I saw the other gem down there, so I think we're safe for a little while. Oh, there is a lot of cash over here, though. Big money. Camera, could you get a little bit lower than that, please? He said, I don't like these birds on these, uh, these wheels. <laughs> God, you gotta steer to the right, or er, left, left. Steer to the left. Charging, fuck. Camera, can you do the limbo? Oh, yeah. Look, I want to be able to move the camera at all times, and the game's like, no, you you don't. There was a gold mushroom, apparently. Stumper, sneak around. So we're gonna be going till nine tonight. Oh, interesting. So these are like platform enemies. Oh, and that's probably gonna like open like a drawbridge? No, it's just gonna rotate into place. Never mind. There was two, so I was like, drawbridge! But. Uh, there is a gem there. Uh, also, there's a key? I do like them spooky legs. Where's the door? Is it over there? How do I get there from here? I don't think you can climb with this key, so I have to be able to... Ah! I see. I see. Oh, logs. <laughs> Look. I have to... I ha I'm playing a video game. I don't have a chance to ta take all the time in the world to look at chat. All right, gem one down, and then gem two is probably you. I feel like I'm supposed to be able to throw turnips at those guys. You uh, underground guys. So that, and then this will let me go up here.
All right, and that takes me down a level, which lets me land on the star. We done did it. I could pull that up multiple times. Ooh, this is like one of my favorite themes for this game. I, I think I'm just gonna have to be ready for it. Alright, gem one, get. I feel like this is gonna take multiple attempts. Gem 2 clear. I think I might have seen the third gem off out of the corner of my eye. Is it behind this? Indeed it was. Super Mario Mystery Dungeon and up in here. Not gonna lie! That sounds like it would be pretty cool. I mean, if Pokemon could do a mystery dungeon game, so can, uh, so can Mario. You know, you just gotta recruit... <laughs> gotta recruit a wild Luigi. <laughs> How does it normally work in, like, the non, um... I've never really played a non-licensed super uh, mystery dungeon game. Oh, I see. Oh, you can- What? I can break brick blocks?! So I can get that P switch as well. Very chill. Who put this gem in a cage? It's a gem! Ah, and then I probably want to drop down on that P switch as well. Why did I need that, uh... There was an entire section where it was like... Well, that's... Intriguing. That's how you get the star, though. Oh, wait, there's a gem right here. Oh my god! Not doing that one again. Yeah, yeah, zombies. <laughs> Woo! Oh, yeah. We did it. Onward, Toadette! To take cover of this bunker. <laughs> yeah, the, uh, the zombie apocalypse bunker. It's made to withstand the nukes that the zombies will launch at us. Here's 
one. Um, another one might be in that grass. No, just a mushroom. There is a gold mushroom there. Uh, there's another gem. That's two gems we know where there are. Oh, that's a third. We know where three ge all three gems are. Now I just need to figure out how to get them. Uh, so I guess the first star is going to be heading underwater into that pipe. Now that we're in the, the peep. And take this red pipe to get that other P-switch. Which will probably raise something. Oh my goodness. Ah, and now we can use the, uh... The yellow pipe. Alright, that's two. And then the third one is down this way, I think. With the cheap cheeps. I, I love the, like, the, uh, the aquarium perspective of, like, you can see double. That's a really cool effect. I'm actually really curious how they accomplish this. Did they just render everything twice? Or is this actually an effect? Not picture Toadette going through an airlock. Oh no, all the Goombas are above the path. I like because, because, like, Hurt Toadette is so small, it's playing the underwater music right now. <laughs> that That's pretty great. The, the small Mario characters have always been weird to me, because they're supposed to be, like, the unpowered up forms. But, they're teeny. <laughs> Drift along Canyon. This feels like a- this sounds like an auto-scroll level. <laughs> this looks like an auto-scroll level. I don't know if I like that. Come on, Toadette, have a better throwing arm than that. You ass dick! I'm gonna jump over to the power block, and then I'm gonna be able to hit the power block, and just be like, "A pow!" So I can get off here, actually. Yeah, you totally can. Okay, sweet. Right. Mushroom, in case you got hit. Looks like I need to go grab a turnip. Okay, just don't miss. We did it. We had good odds considering I was directly in front of the thing I was trying to hit. But it's also me. Okay, one. Are we gonna get a second one or are we just gonna get another power up from you? What the fuck? <laughs> oh, and then we can use this to break these bricks that I completely didn't notice. Oh, 
All right, let's get moving. Oh, and this is also an infinite spot. That's nice of them. That is a bullet bill launcher. Actually, that looks more like the, uh, the homing missile, which I forget what it's called. I don't think it's called bullet bill. Whoops. <laughs> Do we checkpoint halfway through? No, of course we don't checkpoint halfway through. This is this game. They have a separate name, but I forget what it is. We'll check up later. I want to say Torpedo Ted. Bullseye Bill, right. I remember very profusely from my old Super Mario 3 handbook that they had a different name. Hit the, hit the pow block. Thank you. I feel like this is a get, get lots of coins level given the the weird coin spot. You know, I didn't expect this game to be rough, but, uh, oh, you know what, I could, I completely forgot I could do this. <laughs> it's not a normal power you have in single-player Mario, so it's like, oh, of course I wouldn't have the ability to freeze enemies. Of course I wouldn't have the ability to trigger POW blocks by myself! I mean, she does have woolly hair. She's been pretty quiet tonight. She's, uh, I think she's back behind my bed. God, we did it, we did it, we did it, we did it. <laughs> Woo! Oh, yeah. That was harder than it should have been. <laughs> Oh man, are these bonuses different? Let's go check them out. More coin score, well, it sounds like it. Here I, go. I think it might be the same two mini games, but I think the levels might be different. Oh, right, gotta pick up our free 10 coins. <laughs> oh my god, this is very different than the last level of this. Optimal travel path of that mini game is. Sliding slabs, shuffle. Oh man. Guided missile bills. Right. 
I, I was gonna say, I remember them being weirdly not, uh, um... Bullseye Bill's a better name for them. It, it rolls off the tongue more than Missile Bill. <laughs> Uh, was, um... Was Super Mario Wii also the one that was responsible for, um... Huh. I wonder how I get that one. There's a door in you. Okay. Oh God, <laughs> that was a mistake. We just need to get our third gem, which I think might be uh, down here. Checks out. in four touches, which I don't think, again, is possible if you're trying to go... How many levels is this? I don't know! <laughs> Here I go! Ooh, it's a dark... Ooh! See, normally I don't like dark levels, but this is, uh, I don't mind it here. God damn it. There you go, you bastards! <laughs> Okay. But yeah, in this game, because you don't really platform, I actually think the darkness gimmick is quite fun. It's a cool way to, like, hide things. Because this game is very much about exploring compared to the original. Yeah, I think I, up here I can go grab our first gem. They're, they're not dying anytime soon. I'm not really sure how I got that first one down. Um... Here's the second gem. Now, where's that third gem? Does it have anything to do with this? The star spirits compel you? They absolutely do. Oh, there's the third gem. I see, said the literally blind man because it was too dark to see. Can I just 
Walk out? No, I have to play the level as normal. This is still a really cool level, though. Um, how am I gonna get there? I'm gonna guess it has to do with this door, because we never really use this door for any- for much. Oh, wait, no, 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 hold on. I might use it for... Well, see, here's the thing, though, is that Egad wants to capture the ghosts. He doesn't want to kill them. Hmm. I see, said the blind man. I didn't notice this before. I, I, I don't know why I'm saying that one Joss Jepsen quip. Here's a quick tip. You can return the title screen. Here's a tip. If you press the A button, you can confirm the level you want to play. Alright, it's just like the first. Second verse, just like the first, but this time harder. <laughs> Poppy, this is an absurdly bad time, but thank you for interrupting. All right, now where were we? Well, you see, actually thinking about breathing makes it harder. Ooh. Oh, I'm in a bad spot. Oh my god, the platform saved me. <laughs> Yo, Luggager. I am doing fine. It well, that was a trade that was very <laughs> worth it. Oh my god, I was saved by the platform again. Go, 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 go! So much rooms, yeah. I just noticed I missed a gem. Should I even- is it even worth continuing? There's the star. I could get the third gem, so I will not rule that out. That being said, I feel like I've probably missed the third gem already. The gem missed you. Uh, you know what? That is an excellent question that I'm not prepared to answer. <laughs> That was the second gem, so where's the first- Oh, was the- No, the first- That wasn't the first gem. Okay, so this is- Ah, it's right back there! I forgot- I remember seeing it, even, I completely forgot about it. Or, no, did I see it? Now I don't remember. Well, you see, he shoots a wide array of fireballs, so he literally can't. 
All right, gem get, let's go. Don't need gem two because we've collected it already. Okay, it does rotate both of them, so I actually have to rotate this before I move if I want to shield over there. Okay, get up there. Whoop. Oh, and there's our third. Okay, that makes sense. Well, I mean, Phantom Dime. <laughs> go, 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 go. I think this was a mushroom? No, the mushroom was not here. The mushroom was like over here. I don't need that mushroom since I apparently took a hit last time. But things timed out much better this time. Alright. Climb, Toadette! Climb! Um, oh, the, uh, the dragon's cackling. Like a supervillain. <laughs> it's, it's super weird, but don't worry about it. It's fine. I'm sure... This dragon does not have malicious intent. <laughs> I swear to- who is Toad- who is Toadette's voice actor? They- I swear to god, I hear Amy Rose in that. <laughs> wait, whoa, wait, what? What? Wait, whoa, wait, what? I don't remember this. We like, we like raise. No, A and B both do the thing. No, 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 that was the first time. The second time was his revenge. But yeah, yeah no, this poor dragon. We, uh, we really screwed up his life. That was a level that just happened. <laughs> Spin wheel cog ruins. Here I go. <laughs> so to tell you, same throw sector as Toad and Peach. That makes sense. We have acquired bridge. But uh, oh god, I've. <laughs> No, stop. Thank you. Oh my god, this turns this, okay. I, I guess I can get coins here. Um, is there anything else on this that I should be aware of? I suppose I... Ah! I don't really see much reason to mess with this otherwise. That orange one, on the other hand. Uh, 
we'll need to get out of that. Oh, right, these, these turnoffs are for dealing with you guys, but we have freeze technology, so it really doesn't matter a whole lot. Get over here. Oh. That's our first jam. And gem 2 seems to be in the orange, so I will need to rotate that. And I'm gonna guess that the third gem is in that purple pipe? In the upside down? Okay. Oh, wait a minute, was this? Oh, I see. Chronogenic. Uh, so now, there was a purpose to this. So now we can set it like this and get across. And then walk into the wall, man. <laughs> a very crucial step of the plan. Absolutely required. Yeah, and there's the snow. Oh my god. Speaking of oh my god, why are there so many of them? Well, square one. Bridge. Time we won't walk through this wall, so we'll have an extra hit. Okay, bridge two. Give me my cursor, please. All right. That. Step four profit. Well, uh, you know what? The the the, the fan of, sometimes in Mario games they like give you coins for collecting power ups you've already gotten, but in this game they don't give you anything, which is a little bit odd. Oh my god, they're still spiky if you if you freeze them. All right, upside down. What you got for me? A blue toad with a gem. And money. And also a confusing perspective that will make collecting said money a bit of a pain. <laughs> oh my god, a mushroom! We're saved! Congratulations, you are now Toad. <laughs> there are... Step one, draw some circles. Step two, draw the rest of the owl. Man, I remember back when I watched uh, Scott Falco. <laughs> that, that was like an old Flash video, I, I think. I think it was an old Flash video. Might have been on YouTube, I don't remember. Some of these hidden gold mushroom levels, I'm like, oh yeah, no, I remember seeing that. And others, it's like, there was a gold mushroom there? Where? I think it's because they hide them, like, in the ground. Oh dear, there is a spike. Right? That seemed pretty straightforward. Oh, I see. Oh, here's another. Oh, is this for the... Yep. Okay. Oh, and then you can see into the room that had the gem into it in there. Hi, Spike. Oh, oh my god. We're gonna have to kill Spike. <laughs> oh no. 
Sorry, Spike. It seems you have to die. Another gold mushroom level. Up and down terrace. Clear but Ooh, I love the clear pipes. That's, that's like one of the best parts of 3D World is those clear pipes. I am sad that... I don't... We didn't bring them back. I think. Yeah, no, Odyssey definitely didn't have them. You know, that's a good point, and maybe I should have considered that before I killed him, but it had to be done. The level demanded it. I see. <laughs> I am not 100% sure I'm on board with this. There's a door here. I wonder if we open that. Yeah, it definitely looks like there's... Oh, this must be the end. Okay, this is the end of the level. Oh, nice! Yeah, I didn't touch that myself because I- Ooh, I don't think I want to hit that button. <laughs> or do I? What would this allow me to do? Uh, this would let me get the gems. So we're gonna- we are- I was- my instinct was correct! Wait, what? Hold on. I'm a little confused and a little perplexed. Oh, I bet I was supposed to throw something at that. Well. Uh. Huh. I think I hecked up. <laughs> Oh, when brown is up, the door is down. Okay. I don't think I ever noticed that. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh. Ugh. Cruising the switches three times. Yeah, another one of those levels I don't think is possible to do the challenge on your first playthrough. Was I saying something? Oh yeah. Um, how how rough is the post game? Because I remember hearing it was very grindy. Forget our free mushroom, which doesn't actually matter as a mushroom. So it's actually free tank home. What is this? Oh my goodness! I see. <laughs> You know what? The other minigame was better, I think. Yeah. I don't think that is for me, then. Up and down terrace. Let's do this again, but be more intelligent and look ahead. I want to throw that guy. <laughs> to Grundy. That was the, uh, the villain from Banjo-Kazooie, right? 
Oh no, no, that was Grunty, Gruntilda. Not to be confused with Grunty from Dot Hack. Uh, speaking of which, I did pre-order the physical version of Dot Hack. But I'm I'm gonna try one more time because it's been having trouble getting payment. <laughs> Which is a shame, because I... I don't know when I'll play that game, but I'd like to. Here I go. <laughs> Thanks, I hate it. Oh god, I'm on autopilot. Oh god! <laughs> I think I need that pickaxe. Because I need this pickaxe to get that other gem. It's basically the star of this game. Alright. Drop like a rock. If I wanted to get that gold mushroom, I'd play the entire level again. <laughs> Best coin run three. <laughs> Thought be a hack. Oh man, bagel. On the trail of the great bird. Oh, this is like this is like the first campfire section. Okay, understood. But don't forget to collect those coins. Midnight in the wandering woods. Oh no, these things again. Some ducks. Uh, wrong bird. Like this. Oh no! Wait. Up here first because there is a gym this way. Um, is there anything else? I don't actually know what this is, so I'm gonna go grab that. A key? What's the oh, there's the door. I didn't even notice that. A key? Wait a minute. How much time does a key stay on the ground for? More time than I would have thought. I love how non-threatening the ghost enemies are in this game. What? What is that supposed to mean? Yeah, no, I, I don't think I got that one. <laughs> Gem get! You get back here, you. What do you have? One coin. Worthless to me. Oh, they actually have to hit the ground in order to get the coin out of it. Alright, door clear. Oh my god, I don't like that. <laughs> that... 
That does not look safe. Uh, where is our last gem? Ah, there it is. Mushroom I don't need. Perfect. Exactly what I needed. Or didn't. Alright. I need to wander across the wandering woods. Ah! We did it. Some Bieber sing. Was that a Justin Bieber song? I thought that was somebody else. No, 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 I, re I remember that song. Double Cherry Spires. Huh. I did not know that was him. Alright. What are we doing at this level? It looks like... This is another puzzle level revolving with Cherry. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say, I don't remember that being a Justin Bieber song. Oh, this is an interesting level, actually. Oh, but we probably want to pull this. Never mind, that's just an infinite dispenser of, of turnips. That's the star. I'm trying to think if I can see anywhere with the. I don't think so. Here's gem one. And this is, I guess, to throw at you. Right. You have the ability to throw something from up here, too. But why? Why would I need the ability to throw something from here? Ah. I found it! A key? There's a door? Where? What? Oh, it's over there? I get it. I, I get what I have to do. I didn't even see this. I don't know how, but I didn't. into position. I don't really... Uh. Right? <laughs> confusing two characters with one analog stick is very confusing. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> Bullet Bill's touchy trials, what? I see the touchy. I, I get it now. <laughs> Bad touch, bad touch, bad touch! That was a rather simple gem. There is 
a gem in there. How do I get in there, though? Oh, wait, do I get... I see. I need to get in there, I think. Oh. Well, there's an entrance right here. That was a lot simpler than I was expecting. <laughs> Ah, that's a required hole. get to it as well. finishing this game way faster than even I was expecting. Thanks, I hate it! I see what we're doing here, and I'm not a fan. Oh god, why is there a homing bell? Call it whatever I want. Nope. Toadette. Toadette. Okay, legitimately control complaint? You get near one of those spin things while holding down the run button, Toadette's like, now's a perfect time to grab onto this thing. Side, but I got the gem already, so I don't care. Do not remind me of Loop to Loop Galaxy. <laughs> Oh 
Oh man, mushroom, I needed that. Yeah, I bet that is unfortunately something I need to collect. Which is very unfortunate because this stupid home uh, missile bill. Missile. Bull bullseye bill! Yeah, there we go. Names are hard, okay? <laughs> Be gone, Bill! Indeed. What? 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 Their, their, their stocks deal damage? What? It's a leaf! I call shenanigans. I thought I was safe, and the game was like, nah, man, you ain't safe. Didn't take any damage. Wow! If you insist. <laughs> okay, we'll play this, whatever this is. I don't actually know what this is. Mummy Me Maze. Well, give us a try, and then I think we'll end stream. It is! So, if I recall correctly, the goal of this maze is this is like a, um,. Yeah, this is like a um, Shadow Mario game. Except that he is faster than me, I think? No, he moves at about the same speed. Yes, Cosmic Clown. Okay, that was a lot shorter than I expected, but I've... Okay, we will do the boss fight. We will end Chapter 2. And then that will be the end of today's stream. Stomp him. Satisfying. And that will open. Oh, wait a minute. Thought you were being clever with me, didn't you? Yeah, I mean, it's self cooking Koopa.
Oh, these have, these have crosses, though. Too bad. I may have regretted into one more level. I may regret one more leveling into this. Whoop! I splatooned that f that that one. All right, got you. I almost walked off this cliff expecting the platformer to come up below me, and I'm so glad I didn't do that. Same spot, same spot. any gems here. Probably gonna need a one-up or something, right? Yeah. Don't think I don't see that. Very, very sneaky game. Oh my god, that is horrifying. <laughs> oh, it's a turnip cannon. I was wondering what I was going to do about these guys. Come on. Unlimited power! That was a tall sack of Goombas, oh my god. Unlimited turn up! I sense I've made a mistake. Huh. I'm gonna have to replay the entire level anyway, might as well save time. Let's try this again. Oh, it shortcutted me to here. That's very nice of them, actually, so... Oh, we're not even finding the bird. Captain Toast is right there. What exactly am I supposed to do, though? Okay, so don't get crazy about destroying the barriers. Just destroy the enemies. I just realized you can cat you can you can get it the uh the stuff with the turn up. <laughs> so that death was pointless. Oops. Don't 
don't worry about it. I am still a smart cookie and pro gamer. Oh, is it, did we get a shot to a boss fight now? That was a cool level. I like that one. I, I mean, I've liked the whole game. It's a, it's a really, it's a short, sweet, but fun game. But now I'm gonna guess the bird's gonna be going to us up. Oh, are the birds just gonna take Cat and Toadette again? For some reason? <laughs> Drops like a rock. To be continued. And indeed it shall be continued. Next Wednesday, because we're ending stream. Yeah, thank you for joining, you two. Uh, Jack? Yeah, no. You, oh, uh. Chat episode 3 is now open. I, I, I forgot the game auto does stuff. But yeah, next time we'll be starting episode 3. Which starts off very different from the first two acts. But yeah, we'll be doing Chapter 3 and the Odyssey stuff, and then I guess next Saturday, because I'm probably not going to have Kirby, we'll... I don't know. I guess we can go up and finish Astro Boy. Because it's, it's been a bit since we played that. And I still haven't 100%ed it. But I'm, I'm not really sure what I'll do next week. But, but Wednesday will be the end of this game, by the looks of it. So, thanks for joining me. And I'll see you next week. Have a good night!